to welcome back, guys. So uh, today I am going to uh, either rebuild or renew this uh, interstate uh, battery. So unfortunately, the customer uh, installed this on their uh, Lexus RX uh, 350, and that they haven't drive it for a month. When I checked the voltage, it was only around like a 1.6 something uh, volt which is uh, pretty low. So uh, I'm going to attempt to charge it back up and hopefully gonna maintain this battery because it's been parked for more than a month. So I'm not sure if the sulfuric acid has been built up into it like a crystal or not between the plates. So anyway, that's going then uh, and I'm going to renew this battery and wipe it up and make sure it's all clean and look like brand new and I'm also going to pop the cover uh, open to make sure there's enough uh, distilled water in there let's go ahead and then, uh, do this let me go ahead and then, uh, put on my glove and make sure you have goggle or whatever and where something is going to protect your skin because uh, it says uh, warning sulfuric acid can cause blindness or uh, severe uh, burn okay and shield eyes explosive gases so it is quite dangerous again uh, do this at your own risk so this is a positive and negative so I tried to jump it the car to start but it won't start because since the battery is very low and it is what it is so I'm going to try to repair this battery hopefully it's still going to work let me uh, measure the voltage for you guys real quick because I was uh, trying to uh, parallel this with the another battery so it might have a uh, 2 point something volt unless it's, uh, it went down So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Oh, it went back to 3.16 volt, which is uh, pretty good. I mean, uh, it kind of give us a sign that, that this battery might hold some charges later on when we try to recharge this. So, but uh, the voltage is at 3.16 volt. It might be too low if you have a small charger. Okay. I'm gonna pop up the garage door open so we won't smell those gas. So I got my uh, glove on. Let's see if I try to pop this.
So this one has a、uh, forty-two months、uh, f- free replacement. So this one is、uh, June two thousand eighteen. So I might ask the customer if the, if I try to charge it. Maybe I try. If it doesn't work, then you might get a free replacement. But he's not the original owner, though. Looks、uh, pretty clean, though. But anyway, I'm going to、uh, plug in and charge it, and leave this、uh, open because、uh, sometimes we charge it, it might get、uh, hot and boil. So. Okay, I'm gonna use this、uh, old school、uh, 10 amp solid state battery charger. So it's、uh, positive. And then a、uh, negative on this side. And I'm gonna plug it in. Go and then I check on the voltage. It shows a fourteen point seven four seven six seventy seven one. It's like jumping up and down. Fourteen five four. So I believe this one、uh, only needs to、uh, charge it back up, and then that should be okay. So if you really want to, you could put、uh, your positive, and then、uh, maybe use use like a hanger or、um, paper clip to dip your negative terminal here. Between this should be two volt. Four, six, eight, ten, and then twelve volt. And sometimes you want to check、uh, between these、uh, two. Make sure they are like、uh, between those、uh, plate. Each of them they have like a two volt, two volt, two volt. Because、uh, sometimes、uh, if you, for example, from here to there, it's only like a one point something volt. I mean, it could have some kind of crystal、uh, build up. So very、uh, crystal build up between those. You might need some、uh, cleaning. Or dissolvate. Well, yeah. Anyway, uh, hopefully, uh, you guys、uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please、uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification, or drop me in the comments down below. I have、uh, the other video that I how I uh, make uh, transfer from the old battery to new again by、uh, filling up this with the more distilled water. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. Like always. Peace.